r and d opportunities in cyber security so uh, as madam mentioned uh, cyber security one of the fastest growing the technology vertical in the present scenario so uh, let me try to bring out some of the background and the importance of this particular domain so if you recollect uh, in the it uh, system evolution if you see that we have moved from mainframes to the personal computers and then we talked about computer networks and we tried to build various applications based on the client server so a lot of protocols we have evolved and then uh, through world wide web we try to access lot of applications over the the internet uh, then uh, as madam suggested healthcare systems and banks and other things enterprise computing has widely adopted then we moved into the mobile computing where we try to access uh, all kinds of making calls and sms and other things like that handheld devices then uh, on demand access through the cloud and then distributed systems and iot and edge computing with the cyber physical systems and very recently we started talking about autonomic computing or in terms of autonomous vehicles and other things like that so this is a kind of evolution it happened and in the recent times the critical infrastructure uh, all the power sector and all we are trying to integrate it and ot and we are trying to access the ot environments through the networks so if you look at the evolution so and also uh, protocols also like we had the wired protocol then we moved into the wireless and lot of kind of convenience happened over the period so all this evolution basically looks at uh, two things one is user convenience and the other one is efficiency in our systems so uh, one thing what we need to realize is in all this evolution along with this kind of convenience whatever the end user has got the adversary also can use this kind of efficiency and convenience to carry out the malicious activities this is something adversary tries all possibilities maybe if you say that uh, some kind of hacker uh, some 20 years back it was tough for a person to try to launch an attack because he has to learn lot of details at the assembly coding operating system internals and other things like that whereas in the present scenario if you look at it there are readily available exploit kits and other things on the internet using which people can launch the attack in no time so in in the present scenario if you look at it we have a lot of the the security threats in terms of viruses worms insider attacks and then cloud especially we have shadow it attacks otp frauds sql injection crypto jamming with uh, uh, like uh, uh, crypto uh, especially cryptocurrency mining aspects and all in terms of unauthorized mining then social engineering otp frauds man in the middle attacks phishing drive by download like that advanced attacks like uh, advanced persistent threat zero days and many more okay so we are living with all these kind of threats in our networks and systems and also if you look at it generally if you try to analyze why we made all these systems whether you talk about desktop application or online service so there are mobile app there is a specific purpose so uh, your job is getting done do these kind of things it can be a word processing application or it can be an online service in terms of online banking or so you are making your job easy so there is a specific purpose and behavior but what the adversary is doing that they are trying to disrupt the activities for personal gains it can be a pleasure or it can be a monetary gain or it can be something else so what is all about cyber security in this present scenario see in this evolution as a uh, whenever there is a new emerging technology there is also a a uh, cyber security threat associated with that so that's why madam mentioned that it is the fastest growing uh, the technology vertical and uh, it cuts across all the verticals in the it domain so it's not that something it's a separate activity it whether it is iot domain or another area everywhere there is a requirement for cyber security so it is all about protecting our electronics and it systems from these malicious users and ensure the confidentiality integrity and availability in all our it systems so generally this can be dealt in different ways uh, but definitely it has to be dealt holistically the reason is you cannot do everything with the technologies alone so we need to have the process and the governance frameworks and the people also to be aware of the skills and uh, people need to have ethics that they should not share the passwords with other people and they should have the enough skills to secure their uh, the systems so uh, that is all about holistically we, we need to deal that and organizations are uh, uh, have uh, planning in that particular manner to secure their infrastructure coming to the technologies if you talk about cyber security technologies see madam talked about the, some advanced threats like um, defects and all 
so a is a is being used to create uh, fake uh, videos fake images and voice and other things like that so these kind of advances are happening what kind of the solutions it is a continuous uh, evolution so uh, earlier if you look at it we had something about ideas ips at the gateway level or sometime later we moved to the unified threat management appliance at the gateway level and uh, later we moved something like uh, uh, security information and event management and other solutions now presently we talk about threat intelligence continuously try to monitor the activity and then try to detect the threat and other things so similarly in network security solutions and endpoint also we used to talk about antivirus sometime back so the later we we talked about endpoint security solutions along with antivirus lot of other components application white listing device control and even at endpoint also we moved from the desktop environment to the mobile uh, then uh, mobile also now we talk about kaspersky has got an endpoint or we talk about mkvh2 from cdac and very recently we even talk about iot as one endpoint because whatever the devices which you are purchasing or anything so we need to have some kind of uh, agent which can monitor the security whether the the, the behavior is happening as per the, the whatever is claimed or something like hidden back doors or anything like that so now these are kind of evolution so happened with this and also anti malware industry also if you look at it we used to talk about signature based way back when code red worm and other things were there presently the signature based with the cannot uh, solve uh, this particular malware problem because the malwares are generated uh, now and then like uh, every hour there are lot of malwares which are generated so we we use other approaches like heuristic based behavior based and other things so this is a kind of evolution happened lot of r and d teams working at the government industry and all so cyber security is always a moving target and uh, uh, we need to keep developing the new technologies and coming to this there are plenty of r and d opportunities in cyber security and it is an ever growing ever green domain as long as there are new technologies and emerging uh, the technologies are coming up threat scenario is also evolving because the same kind of technologies can be used by the adversary to try to uh, carry out some kind of uh, the disruption and other things like that so uh, we talk about lot of things in the recent times like quantum computing artificial intelligence cyber physical systems like so we talk about iot edge computing or proliferation and we talk about connected vehicles with iot with the vehicles c2v2x and other things like that blockchain in all these technologies so they are helping out uh, uh, in a specific uh, with a specific objective but uh, all these technologies are also trying to bring some kind of uh, the security challenges so these are very very important uh, that we we address all these kind of things so like um, for example uh, if you try to look at uh, this kind of artificial intelligence if you look at it as madam mentioned actually ai is one of the very important thing which we are using for quite some time uh, almost like for two decades we are uh, depending on machine learning and all in order to address some of the cyber security challenges definitely it has got very good potential in enabling the threat intelligence uh, in our networks uh, in the future also so ai definitely helps us as one of the important vertical uh, to address the cyber security to carry out research and build the solutions at the same time there there are some security challenges with ai which need to be addressed okay so these kind of things to be taken care uh, uh, the all these things are important similarly quantum when you talk about quantum resistant security is also very very important which we need to look at it iot devices uh, edge computing and all we we need to look madam your voice i mean madam please unmute yourself Lakshmi madam, your voice is not audible. We talk about the connected vehicles or uh, electric vehicles. In all these technologies, they try to bring in uh, the kind of security threats along with them. Blockchain is one domain uh, where actually in the recent times to enable the trust in our IT systems, we are depending on that. So provenance and other things, single source of truth, all these things are possible. but at the same time whatever the smart contracts which we talk about about actually enabling the the automated agreements and tamper proof storage of the uh, the kind of uh, uh, the protocols and other things so here uh, there, there are challenges because any new technology it has to be tested it should not have hidden vulnerabilities in that particular thing so so all these things are potential areas 
where we can definitely work towards uh, building uh, the the cyber security in all those aspects. So that is one thing. There is a lot of scope for research and in designing indigenous security solutions while adopting all these technologies like quantum resistant, uh, AI based security solutions or security for AI. Okay. And uh, whatever we talk about security information and event management in the present scenarios, SIM and SOAR technologies, they can definitely be strengthened in making them as autonomous uh, cyber security solutions with a lot of uh, AI and uh, human teaming and other aspects can be brought about. And uh, also, uh, we can think about enabling security at the hardware level, uh, hardware security aspects, trusted platform modules, hardware root of trust, uh, trusted platforms. And with the DPA, DPDP Act is going to uh, be uh, live in the some near future. Privacy preserving is another important things. Okay, so that, that is so actually not just actually uh, these kind of things. There's a lot of scope. It's not that uh, cybersecurity is altogether a separate thing. Whatever area in which you are interested in that particular domain, you can definitely try to take care of the the uh, the security aspects of those kind of things. And another important thing is it's not uh, the research in terms of uh, trying to identify the threat scenario and building the security products or solutions. So there is uh, equally good areas in this particular domain in terms of security testing and uh, security audit, auditing our systems and then managing the IT infrastructure and security aspects of the, the these things. So all these things are very important based on our uh, interest and capability capabilities we can definitely take all these kind of domains and even uh, capacity building and skilling is another important domain so it's a lot of requirement is there uh, that tra for trained people so then uh, there is another area anyone who want to be uh, in the education domain there are a lot of scope in that particular thing so there are many opportunities in cyber security r&d towards uh, these kind of things uh, the indigenous solutions and all and uh, coming to the opportunities across the government r&d labs so when you talk about uh, CDAC or CDOT and even all the uh, the premier academic institutes in the country, industry and uh, all the DRDO labs, like in all the places where there is a, a lot of scope for carrying out the R&D in cybersecurity domain and with the strong fundamentals in mathematics and uh, the electronics or computer science and aptitude towards the research, you can definitely uh, work in this particular domain. and. Uh, so uh, that's one thing where you can see all these labs uh, look for uh, the innovative research and uh, for applied research leading to usable solutions. And also in terms of patents uh, uh, like world uh, standard or uh, standard uh, development or even quality publications, all these are the scope of these particular R&D efforts. And so ministry also, our ministry, Ministry of Electronics and IT encourages uh, uh, to take up uh, the advanced research in all those domains and they also actually fund the various organizations to uh, address these challenges and build the innovative solutions. So there is a lot of need. Uh, this is one domain. It is very, very important to build our own indigenous solutions and uh, there is a huge need for manpower and uh, women can definitely uh, play an active role. There are many, many challenging opportunities for women to work in the cybersecurity research and with a good work-life balance also. Okay, So that is something which is very important. And there, as I mentioned, there are very lot of verticals also. Someone can go into the cryptography. Someone can talk about network security. Someone may look at the hardware level. Someone may be very strong at the OS level. They can internals, they can look at it. So the based on your strength, you can choose and work in that particular domain or maybe audit assessment or it can be something like that. So there are a lot of areas. And there are also various courses offered at CDAC and other organizations like Future Skills Prime, ICA and other things where we can get a foundation uh, courses you can do and uh, try to enter into this particular cybersecurity domain. So I encourage women to take up this career in cybersecurity. There are a lot of challenging opportunities in this. And another most important thing is, see whether we, uh, we are in this particular uh, thinking about uh, uh, making career in cybersecurity or not. One most important thing is, see, if you are uh, in the software industry, when you are trying to design your, the systems in the software, it can be a web application or it can be a mobile application, anything it is, the need of the hour is security by design is one of the important thing. So uh, we all know about secure software development life cycle, but in order to build robust and uh, a software which is secure, it's always important that the, the software, whatever we develop is vulnerability free. 
so that's where there is a need for secure software development life cycle so this is something which is important to everyone because this is a proactive way of addressing or handling the cyber security most of the time we try to do the reactive approach once some vulnerability and penetration happens after that we try to have the defense in depth the layers we try to add so that you can try to stop the penetration through those vulnerabilities so the reactive approach is to avoid these vulnerabilities by following the proper secure software development life cycle and thorough testing before it goes to the production environment so this is something very important because there is lot of um, uh, growth are in terms of challenges with respect to zero days in our systems so the number of zero days are exponentially growing in all of our software systems so definitely there is a uh, need for this kind of things so so it is very important for everyone uh, involved in uh, software development to have the secure software development or security by design principles and privacy by design principles so please make sure that you acquire these skills and there are lot of courses on secure sdlc from cdac and even uh, from other organizations also so definitely uh, cyber security is uh, one of the important area for women to pursue their career uh, cdac is one potential organization where lot of work happens in this domain and also there are a lot of government organizations premier institutes and industry where there is a good potential uh, to carry out research and also rama madam highlighted about the job roles in the industry also to take up uh, the career in this so we should good luck and uh, whoever is uh, uh, interested to work in this it's a challenging domain and we advise you to take up uh, this thing and definitely there are up, uh, like you can definitely uh, have a career in cyber security and you can have a work life balance also so which i will definitely assure we all evolve like this in this particular area and wish you good luck and once again wish you all a very very happy international women's day 